nice one. Nice fish right there. Is it running at me? Mm, get up here, boy. Dude, dude, he's a 10 pounder. Is he stuck on the branch? Dude, look how big he is, Cody. You can't tell me that ain't a 10. Dude, how big, Cody? Dude, I'm gonna I'm have to help you. Oh my God, Cody's got like a freaking 10 pounder. Oh, dude, that's a, dude, that's a tank. Dude, come on, Cody. Come on, Cody. So last week we posted the first top water video of the year and I made a comment and I was like, if you guys want to see me go frog fishing for the next top water video, let me know. And you guys tore it up because we're hitting the like button. So if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Also hit the like button on this video if you enjoyed the top water videos, if you enjoyed the frog videos and you want to see more. But today we're going to be throwing frogs for some really big bass. We filmed the video out at this pond last week and we're back out here again. We're going to see if we can get some really big fish. So let's go ahead and hop into this video. I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm throwing, the combo that I'm using, the line that I'm using on the reel. We're going to catch some big ones today. So let's get it. So the combo that I'm using is a Mach 2 on a Mach 2 reel. And I have 65 pound braid. You guys are wondering why I have such thick braid on this combo right here. It's because when you're fishing a frog, more importantly, when you're fishing thick vegetation, like if I'm fishing really thick pads, really thick vegetation, you're gonna wanna use some heavy braid on this frog. So you're wanting to pull that fish out. You guys are wondering about the rod. This is a 7.3 heavy action. If I had to pick, I'd probably use a 7.6 heavy for a frog if you're fishing some thick vegetation. Today we're fishing mainly some grass. It's not even like lily pads or any like really good vegetation. It's just that nasty slop that you have in ponds. So we're just gonna walk around and toss this frog, cover some water, see if we can get some big ones to bite this morning. There's a lot of fish pushed up shallow on bed. If you guys are wondering about the frog that we're throwing, this is the pad perch by Strike King. You guys know the pop and pickle, which is the pop -in version of this. I've caught so many big fish on it. It's like my favorite frog of all time. But um, this is the pad perch. It doesn't have a pop and lip on it. So the good thing about this, if I had the pop and pickle right now, it would get so much of that slop on the mouth of the bait because of how it's shaped in the front. This one, how it's narrow, it's gonna go through that slop good. So I think it's gonna get the job done. And um, I really think we can catch a really big one today. So let's go ahead and walk down to the pond, make some casts, see if we can hook a giant. All right, let's get started with this frog, <laughs> see what we can do. It's been so long since we filmed a frog video and I'm pretty sure I spot a fish. Oh, yeah. Will he eat it, though? Oh, he's spooky. Dude, these fish are so spooky. So spooky. I mean, I didn't even land near him, and he just darted off instantly. That was a good fish. Hoping they're going to be able to eat this frog this morning. I just love frog fishing so much. If we can get on a frog bite, listen, it's gonna be some fun. Oh, there's one coming towards me. Huge wake. Huge wake just came right towards my bait. Come on, fish. All right. Oh, no, it's gonna knot up. <sighs> no, come on. All right. Gosh, he just like tried to suck it down, but he didn't have it all the way. Let's throw it back in there. That was a big wake. He ate it like a big one would eat it. Just kind of slurps it right down. Oh, I don't know if that's a fish or a turtle, but he just pulled me under. He's right under me. What is that? Something huge. I don't know if it's a bass. Gosh, it's, it's like boiling right under the frog.
Nice one. Nice fish right there. Is it running at me? Mm, get up here, boy. <laughs> yeah. No, no. No. <laughs> no. Does that count? <sighs> That's heartbreaking, honestly. That would have been my first frog fish of the year. A frog has to be my favorite bait to throw, too. Man, it just came right off. No. 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 <laughs> oh, that sucks, guys. I really thought we were going to get on to something right there. But we technically caught him. He was on the bank. Just came off. That was a solid, like, almost three-pounder. Like, it wasn't a bad fish at all. And be honest, my drag slipped too. <laughs> I guess I didn't have my drag tightened enough. I just didn't get a good hook into him. I had to kind of run back. You know, we worked this frog all the way down this bank. It kind of worried me. I was like, you know what? I don't know if we're going to get any bites on this frog. And sure enough, the one over there ate it. They're not like destroying it though. You know, you can tell they don't really want it. But... Let's see, that was our first bite. Let's just keep covering some water and see if we can get another one. Should be another one down this bank. So when we came here the other day, I think our big problem was there's a lot of fish pushed up shallow. You have this hill. We're standing on top of the hill and I feel like the fish could just see us, so I'm working my way down here. There's a lot of snakes out here too. <laughs> the other day we saw like three or four snakes, like copperheads, so gotta be careful. But I'm gonna work down this bank like this. I feel like this is our best bet. They kind of just they just see you when you're on top of that hill. Guys, I got my PB maybe. I can't move this. Fish. Oh my god, I snagged him. And he's huge. How did I snag that fish on a frog? Oh my gosh. I thought that was like a 10 pounder the way he was pulling. Oh my god. Dude, that's a freaking toad. Oh my. He's hyper. Look at that, guys. I hate that I, I snagged him. I, I don't know what, I don't even know how that's possible. He just like rolled on it and look where I got him. I cut him up a little bit. I hate that. I did not mean to do that, buddy. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Scorch you with the frog. <laughs> look at that toad, guys. To start off the morning, looked like a solid three pounder. And then I came over to this bank. I was standing all the way on the other side of the street because I didn't want to spook these fish, what I was talking about, that hill. Threw in there, had this monster roll on it. I happened to hook her in the side, which I hate. I don't know how that happened. I guess she just rolled on it, but we caught her. That's like a five pounder. <laughs> Gosh, that's a tank. Start off the day with a fish like that. But just, that's what makes you want to keep bass fishing right there. First frog fish of the year, officially. There she is. I'm just gonna give her a little toss. All right, baby, thank you so much. Oh, she's aggressive. <laughs> she is aggressive. That's the best feeling in the world. Get out here early in the morning, tossing a frog. Oh man, that's that's what just makes you want to go fishing every day. That right there. We're walking back to the car right now. I got to get some batteries for the GoPro. I was just, well, I was too excited this morning. You know, I, when, when you bring a frog out, like if I have one bait that I could just pick and choose, like I want to fish and catch catch big bass on, has to be a frog. I'm a big fan of frog fishing. We like pulled up here, I had to get out quick. I didn't grab any of my batteries, didn't grab my sunglasses, nothing. I was like, I gotta get the frog fishing while the sun's coming up. But um, we missed that one fish. They, they don't seem to be biting it good. That fish didn't even eat it good. I didn't really get a good hook set on that first fish. 
in that second one, I guess just rolled on it and I happened to snag her. I seriously thought I had an eight to 10 pounder right there. I thought I had a monster the way she was tugging, but I happened to just hook her in the side. I hate doing that too. I didn't mean to, you know, it looked like she ate it and just, I don't know the chances of me hooking one with the frog on the side. It's just weird. So we got to play this very strategic. That big one that I got to bite it, I know I snagged him, but he actually like ate it and he didn't see me. When we came out here the other day, they just spook off so easy. So I'm going to stand on the other side of this hill. There's a really big one over here on bed, probably around eight pounds. I'm just going to beam a cast up there, hope that he eats this frog. I just don't want to spook him too much. Then I actually have another rod right here just with the Texas rig on it with the rage crawl. We might need to throw that in after, but let's give it a shot. I think there's one right here. Yeah, he's right there. Huge wake, gosh. He's either going towards me or I spooked him. Oh, oh, he tried to eat it. Oh my gosh. He did not like that. That's a big fish too put off a boil like that. Oh, 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 dude, 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 he's literally coming on the bank. He's a 10 pounder. Is he stuck on the branch? Dude, look how big he is, Cody. You can't tell me that ain't a 10. Dude, dude. Dude, that's like a, dude, that's like a freaking eight pounder. Eight or 10 pounder and he's, oh, I got him. Dude, that's a 10 pounder. Can I boat? Oh my God. <laughs> dude, that's like a freaking 10 pounder. Look at that. Look at that fish. Dude, that was the craziest thing in my life. Oh my gosh. Look at that in his mouth. That is a freaking tank. Oh my God. Dude, I saw this fish on bed the other day and Cody, remember how we were talking on the way here? You said, where was he at? I said, where the two little limbs poke up. That's, exactly That's him, bro. That is him. Look at how he ate it too. This is what we're gonna do. We're not gonna put a number on him. I want you guys to drop a comment down below. How big do you think that bass is right there? I wanna know y'all's feedback. That was the biggest adrenaline rush of my life. Getting that fish stuck around that tree and still getting him out. That's a freaking tank. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, I just got a quick picture and we're gonna get this baby right back in the water. This is why we came out this morning. <laughs> this is for a fish like that. Uh, that's a giant, guys. That's a freaking giant. I'm gonna get as close as I can. Dude, that fish is huge, dude. Did you see how, when she laid flat, how big of a, holy cow. Cody, give me some, man. That is exactly why we came out here this morning. And to catch him on a frog just makes it so much better. He destroyed it, got caught up, and we, we still landed him. That's insane. Oh my gosh. I'm surprised you didn't pull him off whenever you're trying to get him over that tree. 
Like I was about to run down there and get it. Get it, yeah. Like, do I get footage or do I get the fish? Yeah. But I was like, you know what? Noah's got this. Let me film him. <laughs> <laughs> and you got it, bro. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. That was crazy, dude. Like that fish is just gigantic. Like there ain't many times you get to catch one that big on a frog. Yeah. He demolished it. That's a freaking monster. That's my biggest fish this year. Oh gosh. I can't believe he ate the frog though. I, I with how they've been eating, dude, yeah. it just didn't seem like they want it, but I stuck it out, dude. I just kept that frog there. I didn't really see many wakes. And as he ate it, dude, I'm telling you, it might have been the male that was with him or another big one was right next to him. There's not many times you can you can go out and catch one that big on a frog and that's just crazy my biggest fish this year too and i was talking about at the beginning of the video like if i could catch a fish on anything i would love to catch it on a frog and the fact that caught caught the biggest fish this year so far on a frog is just that's rewarding especially on our first frog fishing day i didn't really think much about it this morning but I was like, you know what, since we're out here early, let's let's try to get on a frog bite. Got a bunch of grass and you know these fish are pushing up shallow. And uh I guess we made the right decision. <laughs> so right now I'm just going down this bank. There's still more fish on bed over back in this corner that we're gonna try to catch. There's one that's about seven or eight pounds that we saw the other day. And uh she just would not bite anything. And then there's a few five pounders. So I'm just gonna work back in this corner, keep tossing this frog, stay far off the bank, and uh see if we can get another big in the bite. Holy cow! Cody, you got dangling on you like a Christmas tree. That was a dang good one, dude. Those fish are right there. It's another good one just boiled on me really hard. It's like you tried to eat it, just, I might need to give them a second, make sure they have it. so cool like a solid two and a half pounder on that rage menace we saw a fish the other day on that cypress tree and this is probably the male but uh look at that pretty bass on that menace right there not as big as the ones that we were catching earlier but that's still a good fish i threw right up on that cypress tree i knew he was sitting there i didn't want to walk up on him you know i wanted to cast off dangled it from that branch and he he ate it like a topwater i couldn't really see it on the camera but he ate it good. This is the male. I'm sure there's a female up on that bed. So we'll make sure we make another cast in there. There's a few more cypress trees down this bank that I know there's some fish around as well. So it's a pretty one right there. Not a giant, but that is a good bass right there. Let's get her back in the water. Man, you just gotta love fishing, getting outside, enjoying life, you know, enjoying nature, catching some fish. Nothing beats that right here. There she goes. She went all the way up under that. Let's go ahead and get back in there, try to catch a bigger one. There was one right there, Cody. Oh, I got one. Oh, get up here, boy. Get up here, baby. Little two, two pounder, dude, you gotta stop. You gotta slow down, buddy. Nice little fish, nothing crazy big, but that is a pretty little bass. Pretty little bass. It feels weird, you know, that, like that's a decent fish right there, but when you sit there and you hook into like a five pounder and one that's like over eight pounds, it, you know, they're still rewarding, but it's not the same feeling. <laughs> 
Thank you for biting, buddy. There he goes. He was right over there. Right when I walked up on this bank, I saw one move and sure enough, flipped over there, he ate it. So this is the menace right here. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm rigging it up. It's a pretty big bait, like it's big profile. And I think it'd be great for bed fishing. I've never used the menace for bed fishing. I've put these on like wobble heads and they catch a lot of big fish. I've even punched this bait and caught some good ones. But um, the way that I'm rigging it up, you know, I got a four aught EWG right here. You got your bait. I want the chartreuse side to be facing down. So what I'm gonna do, penetrate through the top of the bait right there. We're gonna break it through on the chartreuse side. Push our bait all the way up on the hook and rotate it. It's gonna lay flat just like that. See how the chartreuse is laying on the bottom? Green pumpkin on the top. Now we're gonna lay our hook here and right at the end of this is where we're gonna penetrate it. Just like that. And then the trick here, especially with all this like nasty slop, is once you put the hook through the bait, you see you have the point right here. You kind of want to bury that. Boom. So now look, you know, I can't get hooked here. And it's not really going to mess up with the hookup ratio of the bass. You know, that's just going to keep all that slop off the point of the hook, which is the main goal there. So that's exactly what we're throwing. What? Are you serious? Dude, how big, Cody? Dude, I'm going to have to help you. Oh, my God. Cody's got like a freaking 10 pounder. Oh, dude, that's a... Dude, it's a tank. Dude, come on, Cody. Come on, Cody. Come on, Cody. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dude, look at that. Let's go. Cody has got a freaking monster. <laughs> that ain't a 10 pounder, but that's a freaking solid what? Eight and a half. I don't even know, dude. That's Nine, a tank. What in the world? Good job, dude. You, I know you've been waiting on that. That's yeah. your first fish today, too. Let's go. You got me soaking. Look at it. <laughs> I'm soaked. I was not going to let him come off, dude. I wasn't going to do you like that. Thank you. Look at what Cody just caught. Bro, let's go. Cody's been waiting on this for a minute, bro. <laughs> About time, dude. Yeah, that's a tank, bro. That's, that's freaking... my biggest one this year, and I've been waiting on something this year. Just something yeah. to... Man. Yeah, that's that. a that's a tank, dude. Get it back in the water. <laughs> Let's go. We've been waiting on this day, dude, for you to get you one. Yeah. Dang good one. We both got us a freaking our biggest fish this year. We both got it today. It's a dinosaur. Nice dude. Give me some. Dude, that was so cool. I hit her in the tail with it. I've been trying to catch that fish the other day and today. Yeah. Nice. Guys, We <laughs> there, this is the male to like a seven, eight pounder, but the, the big one like never pulls up. She stays around that grass right there. We saw her the other day. Finally got you to bite, buddy. Yeah, that's about a one and a half, two pounder. <laughs> Man, that was such a cool bite. I threw it up there and I hit her in the tail with it real quick and she just turned on it. She was getting aggressive. That menace is getting a ton of bites, guys. That might be a bed fishing secret. Um, that rage crawl gets a lot of them, but that menace has been just irritating these fish. Nice little one and a half, two pounder. Thank you, bud. Go right back to your bed. Well, guys, I think we're gonna have to end off this video. We can't have too much fun in one episode, but man, I just, we had a ball out here. It's a great little fishery. Um, big shout out to Cody. Um, his friend let us come out here and um, she was very nice and I'm just very thankful that we got to come out here and fish and catch some big bass. I mean, we, we caught, we both caught our biggest fish of the year and, and mine was on a frog that, it was just an awesome day. But if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button, drop some comments down below if you guys wanna see us come back out here because this is just a, it's a nice little spot. It takes some time to catch these fish. It's not instant, but you know, they're big and they're in here. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I'll catch you all in the next video.